Hi, this is Brandon Hall with Access RV. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on a brand new 2019 Gray Wolf 26 DBH. This is by far their most popular model in our market area. Uh, in fact, it's such a successful, well made trailer and a great floor plan that it is the staple in our rental fleet out here. So today I'm going to walk around, point out some unique things about the floor plan, what makes it so great for families. Uh, I also have some specific gray wool videos if you're looking for more targeted information about quality and construction features. So starting on the walkthrough with this, as you see here at the front, gray wolf is utilizing a rounded radius front. Helps it to be aerodynamic and as you're towing it down the road to divert airflow up and over, a little less drag. Dual battery tray, dual five gallon propane tanks. And then you do have a power tongue jack on the front for easy coupling to your tow vehicle. Also has a manual crank in case there's ever a power failure. And we'll go around here on the driver's side first. This model is gonna feature a large 12 foot super slide. On the inside that's gonna house the U-shaped dinette and a sofa. Just in front of that you'll see a port for cable TV. And forward of that is the gas and electric DSI water heater. Real easy, start getting hot water, just simply flip a toggle switch. And since this model has slide out, it's got all four corner stabilizer jacks as a standard. You can elect to have those electric in place of the manual if you choose. Back here on the rear of the slide is your marine 30 amp shore power cord with your water connections above and an outside shower to use for utility if you've got muddy boots, dirty dogs, something of those sorts. Directly rear of that is a massive storage compartment. You can access this from the inside too. This uh, takes up all the space underneath that rear double bunk. Bottom bunk window. And it's nice too, a lot of times you don't end up with this small window in the top bunk as well, which is a benefit. As per part of their package, you're gonna have a flip down travel rack, which is great if you're taking uh, firewood, generator, bikes with you. You don't wanna be putting it in the back of your truck or you're driving an SUV. And directly above that, we got this one with the optional wireless Furion backup camera. Help if you have some tight space you're trying to park it in at a campground or at your home. Now over here on the door side, you'll see this is a dual entry model. The front is your main entry where they're using those more right steps. The rear is an uh, entryway directly into this really large rear bath. And we'll look at that in more depth as we get towards the rear. Now Grey Wolf is utilizing what they call their uh, black chrome wheels. Look really nice and sharp and aggressive. Also have tire pressure monitors built right into the valve stems that change color as a quick easy reference if your tire pressure is getting low. You'll notice as we go inside too, they use a lot of blue LED accent lights. You've got the strip under the awning, the interior ones, as well as built into the marine grade speakers outside, which are on either side of your TV mount. It does come equipped with an RVQ Quick Connect if you like to grill outside and you don't want to have to carry around any extra propane tanks. I did mention they're using these new step above more ride steps in the front. Really, really robust. Uh, You'll see me kind of hit that with my foot. It's got no bounce or give to it. It's rock solid. As opposed to your traditional box steps. You can see it makes the whole trailer bounce. And to make it a little bit more decorative, they laser engrave their logo into the side. Large folding entry handle to help get in as well. And then up front here, just behind the pre-wire for solar, really large storage compartment. You can see the back side of the water heater over there as well as the storage that's underneath the bed. Now I'll kind of flip this one-handed. See how the door stops on its own from swinging wildly? Rather than using the outdated style of the plastic latch on the door, they use friction hinges. So by that friction built into the hinge, the door will actually hold itself open in up to a 20 mile per hour wind. Stepping up inside, first thing I'll target is your slide out here. Big U-shaped dinette that makes a double-sized bed, as well as a jackknife sofa. 
What's kind of cool about this is you can see it has a fold down arm rest in the middle that has an LED light built in, USB ports for charging, and then back at the U-shaped dinette, really large 40 inch storage drawers that go underneath the dinette, tons of storage for blankets, pots and pans, that kind of stuff. I also really like a lot of manufacturers, they try to save nickels and dimes by only using one post and base for their tables. You've probably been in those trailers before where they're really wobbly. Uh, this is a lot more secure, a lot less play to it. Now looking back, you've got the two double-sized bunks. Great for a couple of kids or even big enough for adults. And these newest variants, they've upgraded to their teddy bear bunk series where it's a more plush, softer pad, makes more comfortable sleeping area. And each bunk does have its own light. And just like every other sleeping position in this trailer, you're gonna have USB ports so that uh, users can charge their tablets or phones directly off the battery rather than have to be plugged into shore power. Now all the lights inside are LED, so you'll notice they're really low profile. Also up here, you'll see the ducting for the air conditioner, which is ducted throughout the ceiling. A skylight above the kitchen with a shade. And as part of the packages, this is what's called their super kitchen, where it's got the stainless steel appliances, the tray ceiling with lighting, and the glass inlay in the door. Also really nice that they're doing a flush mount cooktop and sink. So it gives you a lot of working surface area, especially with this L-shaped angled kitchen. Really big, deep stainless steel sink with the high-rise faucet with an adjustable sprayer. Newest version of these ovens give you more residential feel too with a glass door rather than just the black aluminum that you're so used to. And this is what a lot of people really like about this model. Behind this door here is a massive pantry. A lot of room if you're going to be taking a lot of gear, a lot of food with you for extended trips. Or even if you're just a big family and you're utilizing every sleeping position, you've got 9 to 10 people in here. And this is that really large rear bath. You've got your typical sink, vanity, and medicine cabinet above. Fantastic fan, which is worth its weight in gold for moving air. Foot flush toilet. Tub shower combo with another skylight above to get a little bit more headroom. Now, I'm back here at the rear looking forward. You'll see to the walk around queen bed in the front, it's a dual entry with the entertainment center in between. Uh, where that TV mount on the faux brick wall mounts uh, is a spot for one TV. There's also another spot if you added back or up in that bedroom. The media center is going to be AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, uh, pair your phone to it, stream music, play DVDs on it. And you'll notice below that is a 30 inch electric fireplace. You can either use it for heat, just the ambience of the flame or both. And up in the bedroom, what a lot of people really like is you typically always see trailers where they have a bedroom like this and they have a, an accordion or a curtain. This gives you actual hard sliding pocket doors. Gives it a classier look, holds up better over time and gives you more privacy. Walk around queen bed with hanging wardrobe and cabinet above on each side. Large atrium style window. Like I mentioned, you can see those green lights with the USB ports by every bed. So again, this is a 2019 Grey Wolf 26 DBH. One of our best sellers here, a staple to the Gray Wolf line. Really an awesome trailer that gives you a ton of value. Gives you more equipment dollar per dollar than any manufacturer I'm aware of. So if you have any questions regarding the 26DBH or Gray Wolfs, or even just generalized RV questions, please pick up the phone and give us a call. We love working on people with one-on-one -on -one and we're more than happy to do everything we can for you. Thanks for taking time and watching our videos.